Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 55th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can pass arrays as arguments to functions. Right, so as you can see using code blocks I have saved a file, I have given it the name array underscore as underscore argument dot c. On line 1 in this file I have the stdio.h header file, on line 2 I have the math.h header file and I have the math.h header file in the program because I'm going to use the power function and that requires us to have the math.h header file. And uh, on line 3, I have declared a function called func, right? So it's uh, func and it's not going to return any value to the main function. So that's why it's of the void data type. And in the parameter list for the function func, I have two declarations. And the first one you can make out is an array declaration. And I have just specified the name of an array and I have put an ARR. And uh, then I have square brackets, but the brackets are empty. Right, so this is one thing that if a function is going to receive an array as an argument then you do not have to specify any value between the square brackets while you're declaring your function and uh, this is just not required so you don't have to do it. Right, and then the second declaration is of another variable, this one's called val and this is going to hold a value. So then I have the main function and between the main function I have some code. So what we're going to do in the program is I'm going to have a single dimensional array right a one dimensional array and it's going to have uh, five elements and then I'm going to ask the user to enter a value right so we're going to store that value in a variable and then we are going to raise all the elements in the array to the power that's specified to us as input by the user right so um, let's see what I've done on line six I have declared an integer array it's called array and uh, it has five elements and the elements are two four three five seven so we're going to ask the user to enter a number. So if the user specifies 2 as the input, then all the elements in the array will be squared, right? So 2 will be squared to 4, 4 will be squared to 16, 3 to 9, 5 to 25, and 7 to 49, right? So that's what we want to do. But we don't want to do this in the main function. Instead, we want to do this in the function func, right? So let's uh, see what we have further in the program. On line 7, I have declared the variable power it's of integer type and this variable is going to hold the user input right so on line 8 I have a printf statement that's going to display a message to the user on screen on line 9 I have scanf that's going to store the user input in the variable power and then on line 10 I have called the function func and this is really important so you know let's pay attention here and uh, you can see that while calling the function func I have just specified the name of the array as an argument, right? So I haven't specified empty square brackets or square brackets with a number or any kind of square brackets. I have just specified the name of the array that I wish to pass, right? So this is really important and uh, this is all that I wanted you guys to absorb in this tutorial and uh, rest, everything is pretty simple, easy. We've already done all these things before. So this is all you have to note. And then as a second argument, I've also passed the value that's contained in the variable power, right? So both these arguments are required by the function func to do what it's supposed to do. On line 12, I have the function definition statement for the function func. And uh, then between the curly braces, I have the code for func. I have declared a variable i that's, that I'm going to use as the control variable for the for statement that I have on the next line. And we're going to use a loop to access the elements in the array that's passed as an argument, right? So uh, between the curly braces for the for statement, I have printf that's going to display a string on screen first. And then I have the percentage f format specifier that's going to be replaced by the, the output of the power function. Now, since I want to see the exact element number that is uh, being obtained, I have added one to the value i, right? So i is going to start from zero, but uh, the first element in the array is obviously value 1, right? So that's why I've added 1 to the variable i and uh, displayed it. And uh, the percentage d format specifier that you see in the printf statement is going to be replaced by the value i plus 1, right? And then we have the power function, which is p or w. It's pretty simple. It takes two arguments. The first one is the array element and the second one is the power to which we want it to be raised, right? So the array element is going to be uh, figured out using the value that's contained in the variable i, right? So i is going to prepare the index for us. So let me run the program for you guys and uh, show you guys the output. And when I click on build and run, you see that in the output window, I'm asked to provide the power value, right? So if I type in two here, let me just square the elements and 
show you guys the output you see that value 1 is 4 value 2 is 16 9 25 and 49 point oh and this is what we expected right so the main thing that I want you guys to note in this tutorial is that when you pass an array as an argument we just specify its name and nothing more right so rest as I have said before is pretty simple I'm sure you guys have uh, understood everything and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting for sure and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon